thank you guys for the opportunity uh, to talk about this, uh, this exciting series. I, I have to confess, I had no idea what I was going to find and I had to binge watch it. I watched the first episode in a row. So the, the humor and the fighting sequences were, were, were amazing. So oh, thank you so much, man. I'm really glad. Appreciate that. Congratulations for such a great work. So let me start with you, Justin. Yes. Uh, we, we live in an era where representation in the entertainment industry has, has become an important uh, objective within cultural, social, different groups, especially minorities. And that is that is good. And we think, and I think we're doing a great job and, and, and you know, we're on the right track. However, this series moves a little bit away from this to focus on, on pure straight up action comedy 80s retro fun so what do you think when you came across the script and and you read this story i was i, I got goosebumps right away and you know like you said I, I think it's a tremendous honor to be part of an all asian cast and i i appreciate that you said that because i think the focus is that we're just a group of talented actors telling a story that is universal it's not just for asian people it's for everyone to enjoy um so when I first read it, I I was blown away. I, I got goosebumps. I had never read anything like that. It just felt fresh, and it felt like it broadened the scope of what we're traditionally seeing Asian people portray it as in media. Excellent. Thank you for that, and I, I agree with you. So, Sam, um, an, another subject that got my interest was how, how patriarchy is presented and confronted within power groups. How, how power dynamics change when there is a mm. woman in charge. Mm. What was it like working with this subject and how did having Michelle at the center of everything influence your approach to your character? This is an incredible question because this is actually something that I think about every day in my own life. Mm. Because just like uh, Bruce, I actually grew up with a single mom in my family. I, I did not have a father figure in my life. And so I have always normalized uh, matriarchies, you know, I've always normalized like I, it's it's so I feel like it's just so normal to me. And, and so, um, yeah, I've always been like, well, yeah, that makes sense. But uh -huh. it's also incredible. I mean, Michelle's just incredible. She's an incredible actress. And I think she's born to like play this part. She's just <laughs> incredible in it. Totally. She is. She is. So, uh, Justin, I, I, I was I'm wondering, uh, food play in is an important role in this series. Mm. Tell me about the dynamic of adding food, uh, surely many dishes from, 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 from your culture, from different traditions. It adds flavor, color, uh, it, magic to, to, to the story Some, somehow. Um, first, how many churros did you have to eat? Uh, because after watching the series, yeah. I, I went to a restaurant and I asked for <laughs> nice. churros, so it worked. Nice, nice. <laughs> I, I had probably, I don't know, 50 churros. <laughs> And the best <laughs> ones were either the ones that our food stylist, Melissa McSorley, made or the ones from Costco. The Costco ones are pretty good. Really? Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I think the, the I'm glad you asked that because the, the food is from early on. We decided that the food was going to be a character in the show. And I think in a lot of cultures, we dine family style. So we're serving each other. We're serving our elders. We're serving our younger siblings. And it's just such a communal experience that I think why it's important for our show is because when audiences see that on screen you can see how well the food is prepared by melissa you can smell it through the screen and i think it reminds them of those visceral memories that they've shared with other people over food and i think it, it draws you even deeper it, it provides another layer of sensory experience for our show Excellent. Uh, again, my time is up. Thank you so much, guys. I would love to see a second season. It's an incredible series. Love the action. Love the comedy. Love oh, the humor. Thank you so much for finishing uh, it, man. So, 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 <laughs> so thank you for everything. And again, love. Yeah. We'd love to see a second, third, fourth season. So thank wow. you so much. Yeah, I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Gracias. Mucho gracias. <laughs>